Today we're giving you a sneak peek at an upcoming survival game that you may not have heard much about. We got to test out the final preview of Nightingale, so let's talk about it. First reveal in Summer Game Fest 2022, I knew I wanted it the second I saw it. A survival game combining portal jump, guns, and Victorian era-ish explorers all in a beautiful deadly fey world. Nightingale is all about realm walkers, aka you, exploring the fey wild. The game itself is a visual feast and creates an immersive world for you to explore in. I mean, look at this view. The game has your typical survival aspects. You go around, search for materials, and craft what you need. You'll eventually craft better armor and tools for yourself. And of course, you'll smooth your little over-encumbered ass everywhere you go, collecting all the loot, because why not? Eventually, you'll even be able to get guns. Base building is pretty easy, and it's not at all complicated. Thank goodness, because we know how some of us are just really bad at it. You just gather what you need, and then boom, build it. Although, can we talk about this tiny furnace? How the hell do you make ingots from this? I know you guys are also a fan of customization, so look at how much customizing you can do to your character. But let's talk about what makes this entire game really unique. The card system. The system combines procedural generation with handcrafted designs to give us all a unique environment, creatures, and points of interest. It's like unlocking a box of surprises every time you activate one. Realm cards come in three flavors, biome, major, and minor. You need a biome and a major card to open a portal but the minor one is completely optional. Now the biome sets the vibe. You can either get a forest, swamp, or the desert. The major card cranks up the difficulty, while the minor cards add a little bit of fun tweaks, like the unique weather. And get this, you can swap out minor cards whenever you want, and this will give you tons of creative options. Now when you slap those cards on the portal, magic happens. The realm that pops up is totally yours thanks to this procedural generation. No one else will have the same layout. The game will introduce you to a variety of creatures that inhabit each world. Now each will have its own behavioral patterns and dangers. And here's a tip. Once you figure out where to grab these resources, you can easily return to the same layout. But there is the catch. You've got a limited number of realm cards to choose from when selecting a realm and activating a portal. So think of it like playing a hand of cards, and the combo you choose determines the overall look and danger levels of the realms. What I love most about the game is that it helps you enough to get you started on your feet without revealing too much or holding your hand through everything, which is kind of nice. You sort of get to explore everything on your own, just like how a survival game should be. Nightingale is set to be released on the 21st of this month as an early access title. The game will still regularly evolve with updates, new content, and more down to full release. So keep an eye out guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.